Hi and welcome to the video training of Network Information API. In this video training we will be learning about Network Information API using JavaScript. This API is available in all modern browsers and they support Network Information API. The Network Information API provides information about the system's connection in terms of general connection type, for example Wi-Fi, cellular, etc. This can be used to select high definition content or low definition content based on the user's connection. The entire API consists of the addition of the network information interface and a single property of the navigator interface, for example navigator.connection. Here is an example that watches changes for the user's connection. So let's try this in action. Okay. So first of all we are going to create a variable connection and this variable connection holds a pointer to navigator.connection object or navigator dot moz for mozilla or navigator navigator dot webkit connection so basically we are also also covering uh, mozilla firefox and safari var type equals connection dot effective type this will return us 3G, 4G or 5G. Now we are going to define a single function update connection status and in this function we are going to console.log connection connection type changed from type plus to connection dot effective type and here we are going to get the type of connection type connection dot effective type and now we are going to add a, an event listener on connection dot add event listener change and on change we want to call this function that is called update connection status this is all let's save this file when you save is at uh, connection dot html and let's run it in the browser okay connection dot html it shows nothing because it has all the information in the uh, console you see we just got an information type change from 3g to 3g and then type change from 3g to 4g so you can monitor the connection of your computer or laptop and your browser to the internet. This is very useful when you are designing pages for page speed and core web vitals. Okay, the second example. Now let's look at the second example preload large resources. The connection object is useful for deciding whether to preload resources that take long large amounts of bandwidth or memory. So if the connection is slow 2G, we can stop loading the video. So let preload video equals true, var connection equals to navigator dot connection. And if connection exists, it means that we are connected to the internet. If connection dot effective type equals slow 2G, we don't preload video. So we uh, make the variable preload video to false. And at the end, we are saying console.log connection.effective type. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, you can reach me if you need any assistance. I'll be more than happy to reply back. The source code of this video will be available 
on my GitHub repository. You can find the link in the YouTube video description. Thank you very much.